Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this video guide here is going to go over one of the only places in the game you're actually able to farm destroyer lodestones and destroyer cores. So where I am in this video is in Mount Maelstrom, in the pretty much center of the map at the Mount Maelstrom, <laughs> at Maelstrom Waypoint. That's the closest waypoint and throughout this video the group event is going on here which I'll get into throughout this video to explain the differences between when it is going on and when it isn't. Now, uh, the main difference between this event going on and not going on is when it's going on, there will be destroyer trolls that are coming up as well as the destroyer crabs. But the trolls only stop at the Asura inventions all around the uh, volcano to whatever destabilize it or whatever they're trying to do. I've never really read into lore that all that much. But uh, <clears throat> what you want it, the trolls have a better drop rate than the crabs when it comes to farming destroyer lodestones. But they're not always up. Thus, why some people say. Uh, when the event is going on in Mount Maelstrom or when it is contested, for lack of better words, that's when the drop rate is uh, the best because that's when the trolls are there. Trolls have a better drop rate. Now, the crabs, like I said, are always up and always worth farming. And they also have a pretty low drop rate for lodestones, much, uh, much like every other mob you can farm for other lodestones like the sparks for charge, the earth elementals for uh, onyx and things like that. And also, unlike all farming all of those other things, the crabs here also can drop the cores themselves, which the cores can be transmuted into lodestones via the Mystic Forge. You need two cores, one Elonian wine, one crystalline dust, and one crystal. The Elonian wine and crystals can be purchased from the vendor right next to the Mystic Forge in the center of Lion's Arch. And also, uh, the main thing, the other thing that I wanted to bring up for this event is uh, upon completing the event, much like all of the world dragons, a chest will drop for everybody to, you know, get in on and grab some loot from. And this chest has a much, much greater drop than all of the mobs in this area to give you a destroyer lodestone. Depending on where the chest drops in the world from, like, say you kill Jormag, you'll get corrupted lodestones. Say you do it here, you'll get... Uh, uh, destroyer lodestones and depending on like the area that the chest drops I'm trying I guess I'm trying to say like whatever lodestones drop in the area that's the likelihood of what's going to come out of the chest as far as I know there is no like cross uh, pollination I guess you could say of lodestones if you want to put throw a scientific word in there uh, now so the main thing that's a lot of people probably won't be expecting here is despite it being uh, an area that lowers you down to level 67 the mobs here hit ungodly hard especially the, the destroyer crabs which is primarily what you're going, going to be farming the entire time you're here the destroyer crabs hit just I don't know why but uh they hit way harder than they should and way harder than normal mobs of this level they do get a buff that's called berserk that causes them to do increased damage but primarily the thing you have to watch out for is they put a little red ring on the ground and volcano starts spewing out of it that is the primary thing that you need to constantly be rolling out of or running out of at pretty much all times also depending on what server you're on there's a very good likelihood that there are bots farming here primarily going after destroyer lodestones if you're not really that well geared and still looking or wanting to farm these, or if you just want an easier, more enjoyable farming experience, you can kind of hop behind the bots in the bot train and just follow them around and attack with they attack. That way they take most of the damage and you can still have a chance of getting loot. Uh, some, peop some players might frown on that and you might get reported for botting just because you're following around the bots, but as long as you're doing evasive roles and actually uh, appearing to be a player, you should have absolutely no concern about doing that. Until ArenaNet actually bans these bots, you might as well take advantage of what they're doing. Now, um, as for loot here, the uh, primary, primary, prime, what you're, I hate when I get my words all twisted up. What you're after is destroyer lodestones and destroyer cores. Cores have a better drop rate than lodestones, but uh, are worth a lot less money, obviously. The main things that you're going to be getting here, though, are large claws, which drop off of almost every crab, and uh, loaded clumps of ore, which uh, are salvage items that are pretty common throughout this area, but uh, depending on what you want to do with them, you can either salvage them for mithril, or you can sell them on the auction house if you'd like. Um, I'm pretty sure they go for over a silver piece, so unless you get, like, two or three mithril ore from salvaging one of them, you're probably not going to make as much money as you would have made just 
you know, throwing it on the auction house and having somebody buy it from there. Aside from that, there really is not much more that's left to say about uh, this farming location besides it's up at all times. This, even when the active event is not up in this area, you can still come here and farm the crabs if you want to. Otherwise, uh, when the active event is up, the trolls will be here. And uh, also, it gets a little bit harder because by the Asura projection thingies, the uh, Ethero variation module, whatever, however you would pronounce that word, the mobs really start to pile on like two or three even run towards that model, w module at one time. And uh, it makes it a lot more difficult to take down those mobs because they hit so hard as it is. So uh, it's definitely something you want to keep in mind. Aside from that, pretty much in closing, once again, it's the Maelstrom Waypoint in the center of Mount Maelstrom, right in the volcano, pretty much. And you can just run around that entire area as long as you want, killing the Destroyer Crabs for your chance at Destroyer Lodestones. And cores, of course. Aside from that, uh, there's really nothing left to say, so if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, like, comment, and subscribe for future Guild Wars 2 videos. And good luck, happy hunting, and be sure to stack that magic find up for better chance of getting stuff, of course.